All right, guys. So there's a good um, fight card on July the 2nd, which I'm looking forward to. It involves Jason Cunningham versus Alani Tete and Callum Johnson versus Igor McAlkin. It also includes Joe Joyce, but that's a squash match, so I'm not going to be talking about that today. So the first fight I'm going to be talking about is Callum Johnson versus Igor McAlkin. So Igor McAlkin is a European level fighter. He's a southpaw. He's got quite good skills. He's a pretty good boxer, but he's got no power at all about him. Um, obviously, he lost his last fight via corner retirement. Um, and he is 37 years old and he's past his best. Obviously, he had a title shot against Sergei Kovalev a few years ago and he got stopped. So he's not a world-class fighter. He's just European level and now he is past his prime. Um, so Callum Johnson is also past his prime at 36 years old, but he has had a much slower career. Um, he's only had 21 fights in... I don't know how, how long he's been a pro, but he's 36 years old, so that's barely anything compared to most fighters. Um, he didn't look good in his last fight against Serva Emelayev. Um, he won a majority decision over 10 rounds, but to be fair, Emelayev was a bit negative in that fight, and it's hard for a puncher like Callum to get his power shots off against a negative opponent. So, obviously... Callum Johnson wants to get another title shot after the Joe Smith fight was cancelled due to COVID, in quotation marks. Um, and yeah, this is the fight he's, he's going to be taking against Igor McAlkin and it's for the WBO uh, global title. So I think Callum Johnson will win this fight. To me, he brings more to the table than McAlkin. I think um, boxing ability is fairly even, but uh, uh, Johnson brings much more power to the table and I think he'll stop Igor McAlkin. I don't think he'll have him like flat out on the canvas knocked out I just think McAlkin might pull out in the corner or something so that's why I'm going for this fight I think Callum Johnson is in um, he's had less wear and tear over the years too because he's had so little fights in his career so yeah I'm going with Callum Johnson to win that fight so uh, next fight, Jason Cunningham versus Zelani Tete. So, Zelani Tete is past his best. He is 35 years old, I think, and he's only had one fight since being stopped by Casimiro back in November 2019. So, he, he's obviously past his best, but he's still got power, and he was obviously a former champion. He was a champion for a few years, and he actually beat Paul Butler for the title. Um... I, th I think that was about super flyweight, and this fight's at super bantamweight. So, um, yeah, he's he's passed it significantly past his best. Um, he, he's only had one fight against a journeyman since the Casemiro fight, and he won. So, um, what can we expect from him? I'm not sure. Maybe he's still got something left in the tank, but he is getting on, and he he's been inactive. Um, can. It, by sheer contrast, Jason Cunningham is in the best form of his career. Um, he's obviously won uh, three of his last fights. He beat Brad Foster. He beat that French guy, Terry Lecouvier, who was 16-0 and prospect. And he also um, beat, was it Galil Yafai, I think, dropping him three times. So he is coming to his prime. He's reminiscent of Lee Wood. Um, these guys, you know, they're getting on in age, but they've c just come into their prime now. So, obviously, but with Cunningham in his prime and Tete being past his prime, I'm going with Jason Cunningham to win this fight on points. I think he will outbox Tete, and I think he has, t obviously, because he's in his prime now, and he's looked the best he has in his career so far, I think he'll have a bit too much for te um, an old Tete. If this fight was prime for prime, I'd go Tete um, stoppage, probably. But just because, obviously, he's past his prime, I'm going Jason Cunningham on points. And obviously, Joe Joyce is on this card, but uh, he, uh, him versus Christian Hammer, that's a mismatch. He'll win that fight by knockout. Uh, Christian Hammer's just a gatekeeper, and Joyce should have no problems. If he has problems in that fight, well, I mean, that that's not a good sign. Put it that way. 
So thanks for watching guys and leave your comments below. God bless.